Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can sustain your atlas in PoE. So uh, there's been a lot of threads on Reddit saying that it doesn't work and all that and I agreed at first but after some testing there's a way you can make it work. Um, now you will still drop other maps, it's not like before where you could um, Elder Robin area and you focus that map and unsus undo all the other maps and only that map will drop. You will still get other map drops but most of the time you'll get the map that you want and that's the idea here and because map sustain is really good um, you're able to constantly run the map you want. So my example here I did a T7 Boreal Chambers. Now there might be other ways of this working but this is the way I found works for me best and I've tested it and it definitely does work. So um, what you do you type in uh, whatever tier map you are running. So we're running a tier 7. So we go tier 7. Now what you want to do is manipulate your atlas everywhere except from Valdo. You want to just put watchstones in so that there's no other tier 7 on the entire other area. Obviously you can't do much about these ones but that's fine. But if you have more tier 7s around the atlas, you're going to lower your chances even more. So you just want to make sure that there's no other tier 7s or tier 8s on the entire atlas by manipulating your watchstones. Now, it might take some time to get to this point, but that should be okay. If you want to know how you unlock these favorite things on the side, all you have to do is complete the bonus uh, objective and the map itself. As you can see here, you just need the slot 1 and slot 2 only need bonus objective and the map itself to be complete in the uh, region over here. So as you can see, I've fully done that. Obviously, this means that um, even the maps that aren't there, so let me just show you for an example. Um, if we put these watch stones in, you have to complete you have to complete all these maps, obviously, and then you will unlock um, the maps you want. So we're going to go back and put these back real quick. Um, and yeah, so once you've manipulated it like this, you are pretty much set. Um, I've run some burial chambers and I've got quite a few back now. If you guys find that you want to get the map initially and you haven't got, say for example, burial chambers, um, you can run these T6 maps and work your way up till the burial chambers and you'll start being able to sustain it. Um, say for example you've run out of sustain because you're just starting, you didn't get Boreal Chambers enough, you can go ahead and run the T6s and they should drop Boreal Chambers using this method. If you want to know how you can actually select Boreal Chambers here, I'm just going to add that here. So it will initially look like this once you've unlocked it, you just want to click on this icon. It will glow up and then you want to click on Boreal Chambers and you do the same for the second favorite. And that's all you have to do. Just to show you how much I've got back, um, I'm going to go here and show you. We've got some burials, so this is about from five burial chambers. This is how many I've got back. It's a bit all over the place because I was sorting my quad tab a little bit, but yeah, this is how much I've got back, and it seems to be working really well. You will get uh, the other tier seven drops sometimes. It's not a guaranteed way to get burial chambers, but it just ups the chances a lot. So you can get overgrown ruins sometimes. You can get mesa maps sometimes, and you will also get lower tier map drops as you did before when you used to sustain the higher tier maps in the old method a while ago so yeah let me know if this works for you it definitely works for me so yep see you in the next one bye bye